Hello everybody and welcome to another Open Tutorial video tutorial brought to you by OpenTutorial.com. In this tutorial we'll be making lightning using Photoshop. Now I'm going to do this tutorial in two separate parts. One, the first part is going to be kind of a, a quick start guide, so I'll just run through the process rather quickly. And uh, the second part of the tutorial will be more of a detailed explanation on how things are going. A little more in depth. Alright, so let's get started. Bring up Photoshop, go to File Menu, bring in a new picture there now create a new layer for your lightning fill that layer with the background color background color white make a selection fill that with black deselect all go to your filter menu and we're going to do a Gaussian blur select OK that looks good and then we're going to put, apply another filter under the render menu, difference clouds. Invert this, and then bring up the levels dialog, and adjust the uh, far left black slider to where we get a lightning looking line. Select OK. Bring up the Hue Saturation dialog box, select Colorize, bring the saturation up, and set your hue to whatever color you would wish, and select OK, and there you have it, Lightning. Alright, now I have this night scene that I want to uh, go ahead and put some lightning in. Now, first thing I want to do is I want to create a new layer. And you do this, you can go up to the Layer menu, and then under New, click Layer. And you could name this Lightning. Now we want to fill this new layer with the background color. Fill it with white. And the easiest way to do that is uh, click this little guy right here to make sure your default foreground and background is set to black and white. Press the Control key down and delete and that will fill the uh, the layer with white. Now we want to make a marquee selection, a rectangular marquee, over approximately half the image. It doesn't have to be perfect. And fill that with black and I'll do the same thing by pressing Alt and then delete. And that will fill the selection with the foreground color. Press Control D to deselect anything, everything or you can under the select menu you can select uh, deselect Well, right there, deselect. Now we want to apply a Gaussian blur to this. Under filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Now the wider the blur you make, the more um, wide, the wider the the lightning itself will be. So if you make a real thin deal, deal here, you're going to have a real thin lightning bolt. We want kind of a a fairly wide one, just because make it makes it look cool when you do the uh, the render uh, difference clouds that we'll be doing in a minute. OK. It looks about right. We'll go to Filter, Render, Difference Clouds. Select that. And that'll create this, if you look, there's this kind of a, a black streak down the middle. And you want to invert this image, and you do that by going under Image. Or is it under Edit? I'm sorry. Edit. Here it is. It's under Image Adjustments Invert or Control I. All right. Now that we have our lightning bolt inverted or image inverted, we want to now bring up the uh, Levels dialog box, and that's under Image Adjustments Levels or Control L. Now I want to move the slider here and get rid of a lot of these extra white tones. Bring those out and make it look a little good. You can also adjust the middle slider for different e effects on the lightning itself. Once you're happy with what you have, select OK. And now to colorize it, again go back under the image, 
adjustments and bring up the hue saturation dialog box um, or press control U. Now we want to select colorize and I want to bring the saturation all the way up so we get a good looking color there good deep rich color and then adjust the hue slider to a color that you like something that may re resemble lightning you know, like a bluish or bluish purple or so select OK alright so now we have our lightning in its own lightning layer and uh, we have our background image which is our our um, night sky now in order to put this into the background we want to change the blending mode of the layer here to screen so select that that drop down box right there and select screen and see how that overlays the lightning upon our uh, original image in the background now obviously we don't want the lightning going all the way straight down the the picture so what we can do is well first off what we can do is we can adjust the where the lightning is positioned by using the move tool and dragging it around the image you know where you think that it might have the most dramatic effect you know where you think it would look the best and then you can uh, use your eraser to just erase the portions you know, get rid of some of the artifacts on the side. So now you have your lightning in your image. And that right there is how to make lightning using Photoshop. Now be sure to check out uh, opentutorial.com for more tutorials. There's uh, Open Tutorials a wiki so you can you can edit your own tutorials, post your own tutorials, edit existing ones, you can even uh, just you know, browse through the selection and learn a whole bunch of stuff because there's a lot of things in Open Tutorial you can check out. So uh, I'd like to thank you very much for watching How to Make Lightning with Photoshop, and we'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye bye.